Hello folks and welcome to my mad channel, it's James here once again and I'm here with a video on some pickups. As I said, I got a little bit of money for my birthday, so I spent it hopefully wisely and some Blu-rays and, and 4Ks and DVDs, so I don't know if you can consider that wisely or not, but that's what I wanted to do with my birthday money. So, first thing I seen and I purchased was on Thursday... Uh, no, it was on Saturday evening last week, and I've seen Amazon had a deal on Jaws 2, where you could get Jaws 2 for £10 with a voucher, so I picked it up, and it came on Sunday, and I thought that was a pretty good deal, so if you're looking out for deals like that, if I spot any like that, we put it on the Movie Mad Facebook page, so if you want to join that, you can, it's mainly for bargains. To be honest with you, I'm one of the more sporadic posters on that I find bargains, but Roy and Neil and uh, quite a few others post if they find bargains that you might want. So this one I popped up after I purchased it and I thought, I've got Jaws 1, why not take Jaws 2 in, four, in, four, in, four, in 4K? I'm just trying to see if this has got Dolby Vision on it and... Dolby Atmos, but it doesn't appear it does, but it does come in a nice thin case, and it's been a long time since I've seen Jaws 2, but if I've cut it on Blu-ray, and I thought, if I'm doing one in, one out still, I have got a bit of space now, but I thought, why not upgrade that one? So I did. I didn't know it was going to come in a nice thin case, and again, it's slightly bugging that they aren't putting the Blu-ray in it. I know that you're probably always going to watch it on 4K, but if, for example, I was sometimes go to the caravan or things like that, there's not a 4K player at the caravan, which means I would like to have the option of having the Blu-ray. And it would be good if they included that. It's not. It's only going to cost them a few pence, and they could have done that. And especially when I had Jaws 2 on Blu-ray, and what I'd done with it, I could have just popped it in this case, but I didn't think that was the right thing. I'm happy, you know, I'm happy enough with the 4K, but it would have been nice. I would think it would have been nice if I got the Blu-ray in there as well. But that traded in for six pounds, so I thought, you know, ten pounds for that one, trade in the Blu-ray for six. So it really only cost me four, essentially. But I used that six pounds <laughs> uh, to buy another movie. And I, I had this movie in my hand in FOP, but it didn't have a slip cover on it, and it was the same price it was in CX. So I had a, a bit of vouchers uh, from the trade in the Jaws 2, and I had like £7 other vouchers. So I, put, I decided I was going to take. Oh, did I drop something? It wouldn't be my show, would it? Uh, Pulp Fiction. With it, and, I, and I, seen, I say I've seen this in. Fought brand new for two for 30, but it didn't have a slip cover. And I thought, well, if I can get it for vouchers out of CX with the slip cover, and this one does include the Blu ray, that's decent. So I took it, and I say it's got, I checked the disc on it, it's got Dolby Audio, and this one does have Dolby Vision. So if you're going to upgrade Pulp Fiction, why not do it that way? And plus, that meant I could trade in the Blu ray and get a couple of pounds as well. So I say good with Dolby Vision. And there'll be Atmos on that one, so that's a good update with a nice, I say, with a nice slip cover on it. I think that I think, you know, I've had this debate about slip covers, but if I can get it with one, I will do. Uh, if I can't, then I will probably still buy the movie. But if I know I could get it with one, then I do tend to wait until I can get it with a slip cover if I can. You know, if I really wanted to watch the movie, it wouldn't have put me off uh, on there. So that's the two 4Ks I picked up. And i seen this movie on Amazon Prime, and I have watched it. I'll talk about the movie itself in my weekly watches. But I thought it was a pretty decent movie. And I thought, well, I've got a little bit of birthday funds. Why not take that one too? So it was Eden Lake with Beth out of Yellowstone in it, and it's the evil guy. What's his name in it? 
but I recognise him as well. He's no Eggsy, but he played, it's Jack O'Connell, I think it is. And this is one of the most provocative and terrifying thrillers of the year. It was quite good. So, oh, wonder what that's doing there. A little bit of packaging in the back box itself from the seller, so that's not too bad. And it comes in a nice red case, and that is Eden Lake. It's about a couple, well, I say I'll talk about this in my weekly watches, but I was just showing that I'd actually got that one today. But again, in a nice red case. I think it was four ninety four off eBay, I think it was. So I took that one too. I have ordered a couple other ones from Over the Money, but they've not arrived yet, so I can't show you them just now. And next, I was in CEX. Roy and I have been talking a lot about the Masters of Cinema Collection lately, and how it's gone extraordinary up in value. There's a lot of them that are out of print. Roy, as he has got over 200 titles in the Master of the Cinema Collection, but honestly, a lot of them aren't for me. But there are some, like the Westerns, that I do think would be worthy of the collection. And I was in CEX and they had a few of the Western ones in the CX and they had the man from Lara Lane with James Stewart and it was £15 and I thought that was pretty steep but I had some vouchers thought I might get it but then I looked it up on eBay first and Music Magpie had it and Music Magpie had it for £10.84 with a £2 voucher off so it worked out at like £8.84 so I thought that's half the price I know I've got vouchers here, but I've got a bit of birthday money. Why not get it from Music Magpie at that price? So I did, and it's arrived. And to say I'm a little bit disappointed in it, I am. But not enough to complain, if you know what I mean. It's second hand. You know it's not going to be perfect. So I'll just show you. So here we are. The man from where I mean. Masters of Cinema at number 156. I say I've got a few Masters of Cinema, but it's no by no means 200 of them. I think I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 10 numbered ones from the Masters of Cinema collection. So uh, obviously. With the prices the way they are, the chances of me getting a lot more of them are you know, But as I say, I'm not collecting them all. I'm collecting the ones that I think I'll watch. And I say The Man from Laramane with James Stewart is one of them. Because I've watched The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance and I thought that was a decent movie. And that starred James Stewart as well. So I thought, why not take this one? And I did. And as you can see, there's like a big gouge in the, you know, the thing that covers the slipcover. Nothing that can't be fixed. I've, I've probably got a clear case somewhere that I can switch this out for. And that'll be... Yeah, so it's not enough to complain about, I don't think. And the good thing is, this is in perfect condition. I've looked at them. And it's came with a booklet, which, you know, not all of them, all of them will do these days. So this one here, £8.84, change the case on it. And it'll be, it'll be ready to rock and roll, shall we say. So that is one. And I say, if it's, if it's in there and I can afford it at the CX, I'll try and do it. They had Red River in there as well, but they want £25 for that in vouchers. So as you say, if you want to get Masters of Cinema, uh, you're probably better to get them now rather than, than, than later, or you're going to be, shall we say, stuffed <laughs> uh, on there. So... That is what I picked up with my birthday money. So I spent, what did I spend? 10 on Jaws, 5 on Eden Lake, 8 on this. So that was 23. I got £50. So I've got 27 left. Uh, but I have got a couple of other things coming. So for now, that is the ones I've purchased. And I say, with those Blu ray tradings, I got 8 plus 7 back and I got Pulp Fiction as well. So it worked out pretty well. But next, I was in the, well, I was going down to CX, always take a route around the charity shops to see what there is. And there was a, yeah, there was a 10 for a pound. And I think I got Sherlock Holmes and that's where I got the other £7 from. I got it for 10p. 
3 to the n. And I have got some other small pickups that I got for the chat shop. They weren't as good as 10 per pound, but they're all tradable items for me here. Uh, except this one here, which is the Transporter 2. Roy's been looking out for these. Uh, I have got a one and three, and in the same charity shop, they just didn't mess that put out yet. There was a transporter too, so I asked Roy if he needed that one still because he might have purchased it, but he hadn't. So I picked that up one, that one up for Roy for a pound, so that was fine. Uh, but in the same shop, there was a few other bits and pieces, and I'm going to be honest with you. This one has no interest to me at all and it's the complete season of Haven Series 4. Now, I've sort of stopped buying the odd series here and there because I end up with the discs and I end up not being able to get the complete series. If I'm going to get a set, I'll try and get the complete series now. But for a pound, that trades in for four. So I took that. I do have an interest in this one, Homeland, but I've got, I've got, it's on streaming i have got the first couple of seasons on blu-ray but i took this one the complete seven series and again this four this set trades for four pounds so that's from my two pound i'm going to get eight back towards maybe a 4k or something like that so that's why i picked those two up i did pick up this movie for a pound and i thought i actually thought it looked pretty good and it's it's raised from the directors of the descent and i did like the descent and this one, sorry, I, this this movie and the slipcover gives me a doomsday vibe. You know, like, the I don't know if you've seen Doomsday, but it's basically post-apocalyptic movie. But this one won't be. But it's in a similar style. And I thought, well, that's why. Because it's the, from the depth of Dog Soldiers and The Descent. And it's Centurion, Fight or, Fight or Die with Michael Fassbender. And I thought this looked pretty good and this in the in the doomsday style. So I thought for a pound I'll pick that up too. And that's for myself and for the collection. That's just in my general thing, it's not my uh birthday money, shall we say. But I thought that was worth picking up for that. Region B. I didn't actually check the discs, so I should really check them. Well there's not it's a single disc. And is it in good condition? Yes, it is perfect. Not even a smudge on it. So we'll take that one too. So that one is for the collection. And I don't know if you remember me saying in a previous video that with the no fees on eBay, it might be worth selling the odd DVD here and then. And I picked up Salem's Lot for like 10p. And I thought, I'll tell you what, let's put that on. Let's put it. It's Halloween time, let's put it on for like £6 plus postage and see if anyone buys it. And somebody did. So I've got a wee bit in my eBay pot to perhaps buy a couple of other ones from my wish list. I've got a few on my wish list in there. So I'll decide which one I'm going to buy with my £6.50. <laughs> uh, there, so there we go. And this is the way I've got to do my hobby. I've got to be careful. I've got to do it on a budget. And that's okay. That, that that's okay. I've got, you know, an absolutely, in my opinion, huge collection. And if it grows a little bit slower because you're doing it on a budget, then fair enough. And there is obviously movies I would like to buy to add to the collection, but it's an ongoing process. It's a hobby. It's not life or death. It's not, you know, the end of the world if I don't get. A movie shall we say it's nice to get them and get them in the collection but i've got to balance that with the realities of life shall we say so that and look i've added two four case two blu-rays three blu-rays and i've got a little bit of money still so there'll be you know three or four and i think you know two four k's and three blu-rays in a week is not massively slow growth uh and the next one i picked up this trades in for £7 and it's £2 and I recognise the guy on the front as Robert Duval, unless I'm mistaken. It says Larry McMuffin's McMurtry's Lonesome Dove DVD collection. 
and they put this out for two pound and it fades for seven and i was thinking you know i will just trade this in potentially because the reality is i picked it up to do that i didn't pick it pick it up to watch it and this will and if i'd said i was going to watch it that would sit on the shelf i would procrastinate and i would never never ever get around to it not not in the long well, time it does look you know i do like western eps ep, the epic the epic western saga begins you know what i might you never know i see the disc is in pretty good condition so maybe maybe that will go go to, to trade in i think it probably will or it might not we'll see but that's what i picked up with you know four or five pounds of pocket change when i was out going down to the cex anyway so that is the pickups i've got and i thought that was a pretty decent selection five for the collection maybe six and three to trade so i might take a wander down at lunch to cx and trade at least these two i'll probably trade with the other one as well it'll just sit there i think and i've added these one as well so as i say collecting on a budget hope you've enjoyed my video and the pickups today and i'll see you next time thanks guys if you do have any comments about the movies or how i do it this way then let me know do you like to interact with me folks when you put the comments in thanks very much see you later